Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I'm wearing it. That's the logo for the second album. Here's the logo for the first album. They gave out flags for Flag Day. Isn't that cool? Safety pins pinned to duct tape. That is good old American ingenuity there, baby. You know, if you go to nidosaur.bandcap.com, I didn't know this until Flea pointed it out. Their first album, The Black Blood of the Earth, I think that's the title. Live. Popcorn Remnants. Uh, let me go there now just to make sure. But type it in with me. N I G H T O S A U R dot bandcap dot com. You'll see the second album, which uh, we had the release party for last night, which is where I was. Space Axers. But if you click uh, over in the right-hand column, there's a link to Black Blood of the Earth. It's free! It's free! You have no reason to not listen to it, because it's free! Unless you're, like, worried about bandwidth or download times or some other nonsense like that. So you can get seven tracks of the heaviest of metal. Absolutely free in any format you choose. You can get it in lossless, and then you can re-transpose, transcode, turn it into your own favorite format, or you can just get the MP3 like a normal person would. And I'm telling you, if you don't want to decide what to listen to for the next hour or so, just put on that dinosaur album. It's good stuff, man. Anyway, it's Friday. I've been here 10 hours. It's 6.02 p.m. and it's 79 degrees. We're in a pattern where it's like rain, no rain. Tomorrow's going to rain, then no rain, and then it's going to rain. Tuesday, no rain, and Wednesday, rain. So we're in a no rain day. And I'm here at 6 p.m. instead of outside enjoying the weather. Let's take a look at the poster I bought. I had free tickets to this event because I was one of the two people who retweeted the right tweet at the right time. So there wasn't a lot of competition for tickets, which is a shame. It was a good show. The half of the show that I saw. I understand the half that I didn't see was also good. The venue I went to, it has two rooms, basically. And one room, a friend of ours from the Starioki days runs a bingo game called Blingo. So we did that until, you know, 10-ish. And then we went to the main room. So the point of me telling you how I got free tickets is so I could take the 10 bucks I would have spent on tickets, two tickets at 5 bucks each, and I got me the poster of the event. Whoa. Some fine work by Lizard Man. And look, it's, it's numbered. It's number 12 out of 30. That's how special I am. So we're going to find a place for this somewhere back there. Nidosaur. Look at that. How can you not love that? It's amazing. I also bought the CD. The flag was free because I'm a friend of the band. Yes. Ooh. I'm a very important person. Uh, and I bought two copies of the CD because I'm going to send one to Oregon, force Aaron and Lise to listen to it, and they won't enjoy it as much as I do, like the first album. I'd love to hear what you think of the first album, though. Go to dinosaur.vancamp.com and download... Black blood of the earth. And let me know what you think. Alright. So that was Nidosaur. It's been a Nidosaur week for me. I had to come in early because we released a release today. A maintenance release. Net backup 7.5.0.3. So maintenance release 3 for, for net backup 7.5. And as the writer I got conned into writing a bunch of stuff. So I had to publish this, publish that, make a semi-official announcement, make a blog post, hype it up on the forum. I am Mr. Net Backup. Did you know Net Backup is a $1 billion uh, 
Moneymaker, it is the only semantic product to be earning a billion dollars. So you think uh, more people would pay attention to us instead of the stupid antivirus? Oh, sorry. I understand everyone thinks that we're Norton and that's it. As our director likes to say, my barber knows what Norton is, but he's never heard of net backup. Really, it makes you think of, of the awesome responsibility I carry as the sole technical writer in the support department for the sole billion dollar product under our portfolio. Doesn't affect the stock price though, does it? 15, here we come. Flea knows what I'm talking about. Flea, I got your call by the way and I forgot to tell you last week, thank you. Um, let's go to your comments, which I do not have opened up in another window, even though I swore I was going to have that set up when we started. I went almost 15 minutes yesterday, and I didn't mean to, and obviously I won't today, but it was enough to con Greg into liking it before he watched it. I always wonder, I should go back and see if he, he unliked it after he watched it. He's like, nah, I was wrong. I'm going to go ahead and unlike it. I have so many notifications on Facebook because of talking about this show. Instagrams I posted that people reacted to. Nope, he still likes it. I wonder if he's watched it. He didn't leave a comment on the, the W. Or did he? Let me open that thread up. Look how well prepared I am. First comment was from Flea saying that my flag shirt was flag desecration. It was not. I was not wearing a flag. I was wearing a shirt that happened to have a flag design on it. They are different things. That would hold up in court. If not, why would Walmart sell them for under six bucks each? I also wore it on Memorial Day, which is why you hadn't seen it until now. That was the last piece of my Walmart shopping. I'm not supposed to buy clothes at Walmart anymore. Hey, Kim leaves town. I end up at Walmart. Frosty Freeze says, 10 threads in the making because we're on number 10 of the occasionally updated uh, thread of videos over on the W. Yep, it sure is. You sure said that thing. Yep. Reacting to uh, the reference to blue steak, James says, Represent Canada. We use the term blue rare for very rare steaks here. I'd assume that was a common expression. Maybe it is, and I'm just not aware of it. I just... No one said it to me, but... I don't know. Maybe I'll throw that out next time I order a steak, if I remember, and we'll see if anybody knows what it is or not. It's probably a common expression, and I'm just unaware. Talking about hashtag not watch ROH... I don't think we get a Sinclair station here, and I'm still not really used to watching TV on the computer on a regular basis. I ordered a few of the IPPVs, the internet pay-per-views, and they were pretty fun, but the last one I tried to order was that one that nobody could order. So you won't watch TV on the computer, but you will watch an internet pay-per-view. Hypocrite. The good news is that we get Spike TV and TNA seems to be turning things around. Yeah, I suppose I should start watching it. This would be a good time to start watching it, actually, because... Everything I would normally watch on a Thursday is in a rerun. Of course, I left the house yesterday, so that wasn't going to happen. Actually, there was a basketball game on I should have watched. I understand the Heat won, but they almost blew it. I'll have to get back into that series. It was nice of hockey to end in time for the NBA Finals, wasn't it? Raw starts at 7.15 in, uh, where are you? Regina? Saskatoon? One of them places? You're in Saskatchewan. You did mention that much. 8.15 in the winter, so you don't have daylight savings time, which messes up the TV schedule twice a year. Ha! Huh. You and uh, when Albert lived in Arizona, he had that problem too. Whether it's a two-hour show or a three-hour show, it has the same start time, so we never get to watch it live with the Americans. That's so they can edit out any accidental male and female violence, right? I don't think the score has separate east-west feeds, but I'm not certain and you don't care. You know, I used to know that when I recapped. I want to say they do, but I'm not sure either. This would be a good chance for some Canadian to pipe in and tell me. 
Uh-oh, my 10 minutes is up. Mike says, listening to the MST3K guys on Sclarboro Country, I have to wonder, why in the hell don't the Vikings play in the new Twin Stadium? It is a baseball-only configuration. Football there would be very difficult. That's why every time they talk about playing football, it's the TCF Bank Stadium within spitting distance of my house and all the traffic there, too, and fun there from. So that's probably, in fact, their interim home uh, until the new one gets built. What a boondoggle. Has somebody sued uh, Minneapolis yet about that? I'm not going to do it, but somebody should. All right. We're through another week, and I feel like there was more I'm, that I was meant to say, but it will have to wait for another day. Hey, I'm rhyming, and I don't even mean it. Anybody want a peanut? Thanks for watching. I love you. I'll be back next week, God willing. Pretty sure I'll be back next week. So we'll see you Monday. Bye, guys.